Hi there, this is Pete with BoardGameBoost.com. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the setup and use of the overlay products available from BoardGameBoost.com for the game Great Western Trail, designed by Alexander Pfister. There are two different products available. One is a uh, straightforward overlay piece that um, simply sits on top of the player mat with no connection. And the other is a backboard product um, that has a backboard and the overlay connects to that with the player mat sandwiched in, be in between uh, to keep the overlay in position as well as allow the player mat to be picked up and moved during the game uh, with components on it. So I'm going to show how to set up both of these products in this video. Both products come with these small, thin overlay pieces, and then there's an inset piece as well. Both of these are important to the product, so you want to make sure that you don't throw either one away. When you first receive the product, you want to punch this piece out. So you want to add pressure only to the edges, so you're being careful not to risk snapping this piece in the middle. Let's go ahead here, and you can see it just snaps out very easily. And then if you purchase the backboard product, there will be pieces still in the uh, overlay as well. So you wanna just snap those out as well using the same technique, just add a little pressure. And then once that's out, you wanna snap these small connector pieces out as well. If you have Go the ahead. backboard product, you'll also need to remove the uh, insert that's in the connector slots on both the overlay and the backboard products. Um, just add a little pressure with your thumb and you'll hear it snap out like so. And this piece is waste, so you can go ahead and throw that away once you are done with it. Again, as you add pressure here, you just want to make sure you're adding it right over the, uh, the, the piece itself and not bending the overlay at all, uh, or else you do risk breaking it. So go ahead and punch those out as well, and we'll move on. The next step is to remove the protective paper from both sides of each piece. As with most products from BoardGameBoost.com, each piece is going to have these tabs protruding from it that look kind of like letter Bs. The B stands for break off, and you want to specifically look for one of the two that has a line underneath it, and then just push away from that. And then, as you can see, it just snaps right off, and it starts the paper on the other side. This will save you a lot of time as you remove the paper, because you don't have to pick for an edge of the paper with a fingernail. All the pieces in this set are going to have these. As you can see, even the little insert piece has it there in the middle of the square. Uh, the overlay pieces uh, will have it uh, nested in one of the openings and the backboard pieces um, in a corner here. As you remove the paper from the overlay pieces, take care not to bend or use any excessive force against the overlay or else you risk cracking the overlay piece. Uh, what I recommend doing is what you see me doing here which is using one hand to hold the overlay flat on a table and then the other hand to pull the paper off it. This way you won't have any risk as you remove the paper. The next step will need to be done for both products. However, I'm demonstrating it here using the overlay that does not come with a backboard. As you can see, I've removed the paper from it. And in addition, I also have this thin overlay as well as this thin piece that I punched out of this overlay. What I want to do is take this small piece and insert it here into this bottom right corner of the overlay. I'm going to just line it up. And then once it's lined up, I'm gonna apply some pressure with my thumbs and you're gonna hear it snap into place. Once it's in there, it's pretty solid. And as you can see, what it's done is this piece is half the thickness of the overlay. So when playing the game, this sits over the area here where discs will first be covering holes that are for the cubes. So there's a space for the discs now that holds it firmly, and then once you remove that disc, there's another thinner overlay underneath there for the cube. So go ahead and do that for as many overlays as you purchase. Again, you'll have one of these pieces for each overlay, and it simply snaps into place, and it's flush along the bottom once you snapped it in. The other thin piece of overlay goes up here in this slot in the overlay. That is to provide you with the uh, disc holes here for this area of the board, regardless of how many players you're playing with. So if you're playing with only two players, then it simply sits right on the player mat. But if you're playing with three or four players, you're going to use that cardboard insert that goes here, and then you'll just put this right on top of that insert, 
That way you have these holes for the discs regardless of how many players you're playing with. The rest of the overlay is pretty self-explanatory with various holes for discs, cubes, and this grid in the center for tiles. If you have the overlay product that does not come with a backboard, then at this point you are good to go, you're all set to play, happy gaming. If you have the overlay with the backboard, please keep watching for the next couple minutes and I'll show you how to safely attach the overlay to the backboard. Okay, I've got my backboard, overlay, and six connectors here ready to go. I want to start by setting the overlay aside and just getting these connectors started into the backboard. The backboard piece, it doesn't matter uh, left, right, up, down, it's all the same, so just pick a side that works for you. And we're going to start by inserting the connectors uh, and just go around a circle. So you can see the connector is kind of a T. And on the backboard part, we're going to be using the, the base of the T. So sm the, sh the smaller side down. You're going to line it up left and right and up and down. And then just add some pressure and you'll hear it snap in. It shouldn't take a lot of force to do so. And then you can see it's nicely in there. You want to just look from the side to make sure that it's fully down. And we'll do one more check before we add the overlay. So go ahead and do this. Just go around and snap them in. Okay, as you can see, they're all in. Again, I want to go through and check each connector, not only to make sure that it's fully snapped down, but importantly, I want to make sure that it's standing straight up and down. You don't want to have it leaning like this, or else it will probably break the overlay when you attempt to attach it. So again, just go around and make sure each overlay, I'm sorry, each connector is fully inserted and standing completely vertically. Now I'm going to take my player mat and insert it into the space between the connectors. Depending on what version of the game you have, there may be a little play here between the connectors, only because later versions of the game have a slightly larger player mat. So just get it in there for now and we will align it perfectly with the overlay in a moment. Now I'm gonna take my overlay and I'm gonna rest it gently on the connectors over the player mat like so. So it's sitting nice. Now what we want to do is just kind of spot check all these connectors to make sure one more time that everything is aligned nicely, that they're standing perfectly vertical, and that they are straight on to the slot and not deviating at all because obviously as you can imagine if they are not lined up and you attempt to put pressure down on this overlay it's probably going to crack the overlay. Once we're satisfied with the alignment we're going to go ahead and start adding some general pressure down over each connector. As you do this process, make sure that the only place you're adding pressure with your fingers is directly over the connectors. If you add pressure over here, you will risk bending the overlay and possibly cracking it. You kind of want to go down on, in an even style, so adding a little pressure to each connector kind of evenly as you go around. That way, again, there's very little bending going on on the overlay. Once you've gotten down almost all the way, not quite fully locked, you'll want to stop and just take a look at the alignment of the player mat. Because again, when you fully sandwiched the uh, overlay to the, to the backboard, you won't be able to shift it like this. Um, so just get everything kind of lined up as best you can. And once you have it there, then that's when you can go ahead and add full force over the connectors to snap and secure the overlay to the backboard. You can hear it snapping in as I go around. Just going around and around, working each one down. And as you can see, we're all set at this point. It's fully secure. Uh, you do want to make sure, as you can see here, it's not actually fully secure. So go around and look from the side. And if you see any, just pinch it together like this. And it will snap home. So I go around, make sure they're all fully down. And they are. And as you can see, the overlay is very nicely aligned with the player mat and we're ready to play. By the way, before starting this process, I already had this uh, little uh, insert piece that I showed earlier in there. Um, you could wait until the end to do it as well. It doesn't really matter. And then as also demonstrated earlier, this is where I would insert this other small overlay piece 
um, into this area, possibly with the cardboard tile that comes with the game, depending on the number of players you're playing with. At this point, that concludes the video. If you have any questions about this product or anything at all, please never hesitate to drop me a message on Etsy. I'm always happy to help in any way that I can. Thank you so much for joining me and for your interest in this product. And until next time, remember, if you're playing, you're already winning.